bam. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I made agua chile. It's my first time making it and I was pretty happy how it came out. So let's begin. So I purchased two pounds of shrimp and I'm just removing the tail, removing everything that I can off the shrimp so that there's no pieces left in the stuff we're making and we don't hurt our throats or anything like that. I've done that so many times. Anyway, so I'm just gonna remove everything, remove the tail. I love this part, I love doing this. So now you're just gonna grab a knife, grab a pretty sharp knife. I, this one wasn't really that sharp, but grab a sharp knife, cut in the middle and remove the caca. Yeah, it sounds very gross, but that's what you have to do is remove the caca on the inside. I thought it was just on the outside that it had, but no, you gotta, you know, slice it in the middle and then get out all the gunk that you see right there. Once you see it, it's very hard to unsee it. So you gotta make sure you clean it all out so that everything tastes so much better. And I'll explain that right now. So we have to grab the shrimp, cut in the middle. You have to cut in the middle and then pull the caca out and then make sure it's all clean. Some of you are probably like, why don't you just eat it with the caca, whatever. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. So I'm sitting here doing this to two pounds of shrimp. If you guys have any tips and tricks on how to remove the caca faster, please let me know. So I just cut it, cut it in the middle and then it literally just removes the caca really, really fast. It cleaned this part on the out, but not on the inside, so I had to slice it open and remove the caca, getting the caca out of the shrimp. Okay, you guys, so I already got out all the caca. Now when I eat shrimp, I'm going to make sure that it's clean because now I'm a professional. So yeah, just kidding. So here's the shrimp, the caca removed, everything, they look, they look really nice, very pretty. So now we're gonna go into making the sauce for it. So I got a lot of limes and limons, I got a lot of that. And I got a red onion and some cucumber and, oh, I forgot my chili. I got avocado and I got chili. So we're going to get into making it. This is my first time. This is my first time, so bear with me. I hope it comes out delicious, but we will see. Okay, so I'm going to squeeze all the lemon, well, a good majority of the lemon, into the blender. So grabbing the squeezer, I don't know what it's called, a lemon squeezer, I think. <laughs> and I'm just going to squeeze all the lemon that I can into the blender and leave a couple for the bowl that I have with the shrimp. So we're gonna have some cooking and then we're gonna have some in the blender so that we can make the sauce that goes on it. I'm not sure what it's called, you guys. Like I said, this is my first time even attempted to make this. I really love eating it, so I wanted to attempt to make it. So you see, I'm squeezing some in here where the shrimp is so that it can be cooking while I'm making the sauce for the agua chile. Agua chile. <laughs> So save some lemons for your bowl and use most of them for the blender so that, you know, the shrimp can be cooking, save some time, all of that. So I'm gonna cut the chile, cut the tail, cut the tip, and just add it in the blender. Now I did pick up a couple of chile, but you don't even have to put chile in it if you don't like spicy at all. I have some family members who don't enjoy the spiciness, but some who do, so I just put around four. Now I'm adding some salt. And the secret ingredient that a few did not want to tell me is pepper. So for the ones who did tell me, shout out to you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. I love you guys. Um, yeah, pepper seriously gives it that extra kick and it's so good with pepper. So make sure you add pepper. I added like a tablespoon. So now I'm gonna cut the red onion. This gives it a lot of flavor. Some don't like onion, but it's just for flavor. You don't have to bite into the onion if you do not want to, but it seriously tastes so good with the onion. I don't like onion, but I added it in here and it tastes so freaking good, you guys. So I'm just adding the onion where the cooked shrimp is, well, the shrimp that's cooking. Added it in there and I occasionally stirred it, make sure that everything was mixed in very, very good. And now I'm adding the juice. Okay, oh my God, that just makes my mouth water. So now we're gonna cut the cucumber, cut the tip, cut the end and I peel the cucumber. You don't have to peel the cucumber, but I did. And I'm just gonna slice it, add it, and all of that. So yeah, just add it in there, keep doing it. Man, watching the video and seeing how quick it was to freaking put it together, like edit it, uh, it took around like an hour, two hours to do this recipe, because it's my first time, but now since I know how to do it, 
you guys. I could, I think I could do it within 30 minutes. So again, I'm just occasionally stirring everything up, making sure that everything is, you know, mixed in there very well. I am adding three cucumbers, cucumbers, uh, avocados, because I love avocado. It tastes so good. So I'm adding three of them. Everything in here tastes so freaking good. I'm like, why didn't I make this sooner, you guys? Look how delicious this is. And it's super, super duper easy to make. So first time, took some time, but now since I know how to do it and how easy it is, girl, I'm gonna be doing it all the time. Okay guys, so I am now done. It looks so freaking good. I am so excited. I hope it tastes amazing. So I'm gonna put it in the fridge for a couple of hours. I guess the longer you leave it, the more flavorful it is. And I'll be right back when I dig into it. Okay you guys, so you just break off some of your tostada or you can just keep it full, but I wanna do half. Mm. My mouth is watering, man. Just gonna put this on. Of course, you would get a plate, you know, be all fancy, but I'm the mom, so I get to eat however I want. Ooh, mm-hmm, mm. Put this to the side so we don't make a mess, and. Who am I pulling? I'm gonna need a plate. Mm -hmm. Oh, heck yeah, Noah. Mm-hmm. I'm fine, baby. I'm gonna be in a food coma in a minute. Oh my God. This is so good. That's yeah. so good, baby. Yeah. Mommy did a good job. Yeah. First time. I'm not even tooting my own horn, you guys. Freaking. Oh, maybe I am. But freaking good. I don't know why I'm grabbing things like this, but good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if you guys like these type of videos, I wish you guys could smell this. I wish you guys could taste this. This tastes so freaking good. Can't wait till my family can try it. My babe, my daughter, my boys. Just because we love shrimp. So I don't know why I waited so long. This is super easy to make besides cleaning out the shrimp part. But I'm pretty sure once I learn how to do it fast, it will be easy peasy, baby. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Give me a big thumbs up if you guys like these type of videos. And if you guys would like to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, so we're going to get some to Noah. I think he's going to freaking love it. Bye, Oh. It's good? Yeah. yeah.